Packaging fruit and vegetables at the packing station can be very tedious in scrap mechanic survival. Normally you would attach a button or switch to your chest and click it over and over again until all the fruit or vegetable is deposited. In this video, I'm going to show you how to automate this process so you only have to press a button once to deposit all your fruit or vegetable. If you do end up finding this video helpful, please click the like button and consider subscribing for more videos like this. Also, I do stream over on Twitch, link in the description below. Let's get started. To set up the automated depositing system, you're going to need the following. Three pistons level 2 or higher, three switches, one button, one large chest, one vacuum pump, two logic gates, one timer, and some wood concrete or metal. You'll also need the connection tool and optionally the paint tool and some paint and the weld tool in case you need to make any adjustments. I'll put this list down in the description below just for you to reference later. So what we're going to do first is we're going to build the track. So as you can see here, we have a track built that is between each of the four depositing stations. What you want to do to start out is you want to find where this upside down L is and you're going to build one by three. So one wide by three high. Then we're going to go seven down. So this is seven between here. When you get to the eighth block, you're going to build a three wide by two high and you're going to repeat this all the way down. Now every packing station, both fruit and vegetable on every map is exactly the same. So you can set this up exactly like this. And what we're going to do next is we're going to connect our pistons to the blocks right here. So we want to put one piston down and then we want to put a block. We're going to put our second piston down and we're going to put a block. And then we're going to put our third piston down and then we're going to put a block. And the reason we're using level two pistons is we need these pistons to extend out eight blocks and a level one can only go seven. So a level two can go up to nine. So you can use a level two, three, four or five. Doesn't really matter. It's up to you. I'm using level two here. So the next step we're going to do is we're going to fill in the track here. And the reason we're going to do this is so that the platform that the chest is sitting on moves smoothly down here because sometimes it'll get stuck if you don't build this properly. So we're going to just fill this in here. So you're basically going to have your original track and you're going to fill it in so that there's three wide by one more high. So it's a two high by three right here. So you just want it to look exactly like this. And then we're going to put our platform one. So the platform is going to extend out four. So you're going to go one, two, three, four. And then we're going to build four on each side. Just like this. That's what we want to put on here. And before we put the chest on, we're going to end up putting the butt. Let's put the switches on first so that we can make sure that it's sliding along exactly as we want. So we're going to put the switches down here just to make sure that the platform doesn't inter bump into them. And you're going to connect one switch to one piston. So the first switch goes to the first piston. The second switch goes to the second piston. And the third switch goes to the third piston. And we're going to come over here to the pistons. We're going to set them to a range of eight. So let's make sure they're all set to eight. And we're going to double check because every once in a while they don't set properly. So the pistons are all set properly. And as you can see, we're going to put the chest on here. It's going to be lined up with the first depositing box. And what we want to do is press this button to make sure it lines up with the second depositing box, which it does. And then the third depositing box. And then the fourth depositing box. So everything's lined up as expected. So if you want it to go back, you basically just press the buttons in order to get them to go all the way back. And you can change the speed to make this move faster or slower. So now what we're going to do is we're going to want to put our chest on here. So it's probably easiest to just stand up here and put the chest on because you want the chest to be lined up in the middle just like this. So it's sitting on the edge and the center of the chest is lined up with the pistons. And as you'll see, that's lined up properly. Now we're going to attach our vacuum pump to the end, making sure the arrow is pointing in the right direction. And now we're going to set up our automated system. So we're going to need the button, the timer and the two logic gates. So you're going to place the button anywhere on the chest. Doesn't really matter. You're going to place the timer down here and we're going to place the two logic gates. So one here and one here. And if you want to move them around, make them look nicer, that's fine. I don't really have to. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the logic gates and we're going to set both logic gates to or. And we're going to set the timer to 40 ticks, which is one second. I don't think this really matters what you set it to, but this is basically going to deposit one fruit or vegetable per second. And now we're going to connect everything up. So the way we have to do this, is we have to do a loop. So we have to connect the timer to the first logic gate the first logic gate to the second logic gate and the third logic gate back to the timer. So once again, timer to logic gate, the logic gate to the other logic gate, and the third logic gate back here. So basically it's forming a loop. Then we're going to hook one logic gate up to the pump and the other logic gate up to the button. And what this does is it creates the automatic loop, automated loop for us. So I have broccoli with me right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this go down to the broccoli station. Because one thing that's really important before we go any further 
If you deposit the wrong fruit or vegetable into the wrong slot, it will take it and you will not get credit for it. So make sure it is lined up. That's one of the reasons why I brought the paint tool. I'm gonna end up painting this so that I know which one is which. So just so I definitely don't make any mistakes. So we're gonna deposit our broccoli here. And like I said, normally what happens is you would press this button, you'd have to press it since I have 50 broccoli 50 times to make the broccoli get deposited. But because this is set up properly, we're just gonna press this button one time. And as you're gonna see, it's just shooting the broccoli in there and it's all gonna be automatic and the broccoli will just come out here. So we can just sit here and wait. And let's just mess with the timer. We'll set the timer to, let's just set it to half and see if it actually works as well. Yep, so you can actually set it to any any of the set. You can set it to perhaps even faster. Let's set it to, what is that? Um, 25 milliseconds. So yeah, it's still depositing it. I don't know, it, I mean, it's really hard to tell the difference between one second and a quarter of a second. So it's depositing, so there you go. That's gonna work out. And as you can see, the broccoli is coming out over here. So that's basically all we needed to do that. Now, once again, you wanna make sure you have it set up so that only have the only have the proper fruit or vegetable going into the slot. So because we're doing that, I'm gonna end up just color coding these things. I brought my paint tool and some paint with me. So to use the paint tool, you basically just press Q. And the first thing is tomatoes. So we're gonna come down here. And since this is the tomato area, we're just gonna paint this red make it real nice and simple you just do one block if that's what you wanted to do it's up to you and then the second one is the beetroots so the beetroots are kind of pink so we're going to go back in here and we're going to pick like this pink, pink or future color and we're going to do the same thing make it go down to about there that way we know which what's 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 what so that we're not um now it's, now it's picking this thing, so. I am, I am good at one, I am very good at uh, using lots of paint. All right, so that's painted up. Make sure we get this so it's right. The colors of the, uh, I mean, you can color these if you actually want to. You can actually color the button too. We can make sure that's pink if you want to do that. So now we'll do green. So this color green is kind of the broccoli color, so we can do that one for this. And make that go down. Might be a little bit too far, that's okay. Let's make it go back. I think it's finished, right? Yeah, it's finished. We're gonna make it back so it's easier to paint this. So this is the broccoli. And lastly, we'll do the carrots, which are, this is about the closest oranges color. So let's go with that. So we'll do this orange, we'll paint this orange. That way we know exactly what's what. And you can paint the, like I said, you can paint the pistons, we don't have to. And one thing I would definitely recommend, I think what you should probably do when you're done, because I don't know if this is actually gonna cause any performance issues. When I'm done, I always just turn this down to zero. I don't know why it's doing that. Interesting. The last time it, now it turned off, okay. I just want this to be turned off. So I would, I would come, when you're finished depositing everything, I would definitely recommend turning that off. Like I said, I don't know if that's gonna cause performance issues, um, but having that running while you're far away might cause performance issues right now. So all you have to do is take the, the right side here the ticks and just slide it up or down and it should turn itself off and then you're good to go so basically yeah you have that set up and like i said just sit here and if i have tomatoes i deposit them here if i have beets i just slide it down and deposit it here and we just keep going all the way down until we've uh deposited everything to make just make sure if you have all four one of each or a bunch of each just make sure you put tomatoes in here hit the button and then when the tomatoes are finished you slide it down then put the beetroots in so that's basically the only thing you have to do that's manual um, and like I said, you could, if you don't want to do this track like this and you want to just set up four chests, you just set up this exact same system without the piston and just put one chest in front of each one of them. That way you could actually deposit all four of them at the same time. So yeah, that's basically it. This definitely helps processing uh, or packaging the fruit and vegetables. Last night we delivered over a hundred um, in like a short time just because we had this system set up. So I would definitely recommend it. And uh, yep, if you found this video helpful, Make sure you click that like button and consider subscribing for more videos like this. Also, I do stream over on Twitch, link in the description below. If you wanna see some cool stuff like this, make sure you come on over there and uh, watch what we're doing. And uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.